G'day everyone, Dean here, and in today's video, I want to show you how to remove and set up the monopod leg that comes on the Surui W2204 tripod. Okay, and I also want to show you the Surui L10 head. It's a little tilt head that is um, perfectly made for a monopod. Okay, well let's get started. So first thing, before we remove the leg, you need to find the little bag that came with these little goodies in it that you will need for the monopod. So you need three parts. There's the, the strap, there's the little top, which is actually the same as this one. If you can't find this bag, then um, you can use these bits here. And then also that little stud there. So you need those three bits. So look, the first thing you want to do is undo this leg. And it can be, it's a little bit deceiving because it, it doesn't actually undo from that knuckle. It actually, you've got to twist the leg. So twist the actual leg and unscrew it. And then it will come off. Okay, now once that is off, um, I'll just show you the height before I put the top on it. I'll just unscrew it. Because it's actually, it's a really good height for a monopod. Now I'm quite tall, so... I'm six foot two, and that's yeah, that's fully extended there. So by the time we get a camera on top, it's really a great, great working height. You can of course um, take the rubber foot out if you want to and put one of the spiked feet in that came with it. If you're shooting on the beach or somewhere where that would be more idealistic. Okay, now to get this all set up, I'll show you how to do it. Um, we've got to do it in the right sequence. So the first part you want is the strap. Just sit that on the top there. And then the second part will be that top plate. And then this screw, you need to put it, um, it will go in either direction. It's a 3 8 thread on one end and then a quarter inch thread on, on the other end. The smaller thread you would use if you're putting a camera straight into it. So if you are putting this um, setting this up and putting a camera straight on with no ball head or no tilt head then most cameras are that quarter inch thread so you want that facing upwards we're going to be putting a head on it so we turn that around the other way and then we just start screwing that down and once that thread takes we just lock down the larger top plate and that is now on ready to go ready to accept a head now if you don't have one of these and I would only suggest buying one of these if you use a monopod a lot they are very good but you can easily get away with using a ball head so if you had a ball head on that you can simply take that off and then it will screw straight onto here and there is of course your two little grub screws on here which are also part of um, they feature on this as well so these little grub screws you would nip down with an allen key and that just stops the head loosening off okay so now once we've got a head on there I'll just grab a camera. So this is Arca Swiss. Well, this head is Arca Swiss, and the plate that comes on the other one is Arca Swiss. So we can just put our camera into here. And then how we would use it is um, we would just loosen the, the ball head off. And then, of course, as you can see, you've sort of got all of that movement to move the head and sort of get your shot. So that's okay, but it's not ideal. This tilt head that I'm going to show you is a lot better. So we'll just take this head off. So this tilt head is an L10, made again by Surui. Uh, this one's rated to 15 kilos. They do another version, a larger version, the L20S. It's rated to 25 kilos, and it also has a panning base on the bottom. This one doesn't have a panning base, but in all honesty, I don't really think you need the panning base because I prefer with a monopod to pan that way. And just sort of if, you, if you're panning, you can just simply turn that way instead of relying on a knob. Okay, so this top plate, uh, it comes with a quick release plate. Again, it's Arca Swiss. You've got the safety, little safety switch there, so is that once your lens or camera is on, you tighten it up with this knob. But if that happened to come loose, your lens or camera cannot fall off unless you activate that little uh, that little button there. And now what happens is when we undo this main main lock, um, uh, it is a, there is a bit of tension there. If you undo it all the way, it's set to a 
like a, a tension at its lowest point but you can tighten it up a little bit and set like a friction on it like if we put this bigger one on here we would want that a little bit tighter so now what that does is you only have um, your movement fore and aft which is what you want I'll just whack this big fella here on it and um, I'll show you how that all works okay it's on <laughs> this is a big lens it's not mine I borrowed this I don't actually own a lens at the moment as that is collar tripod mounted so I asked around and uh, yes I had a mate that had a big lens man it is a big lens it's damn heavy too um, yeah anyway so look it's on so what we have here is we can undo that and we can actually set the friction to a point and because this, this lens is so big and heavy you would want that fairly tight so it allows you to to tilt up and down only without losing your level and as I said earlier, I, I prefer to set the level you know, with the actual monopod itself um, instead of using the ball. And the problem is when we undo the ball, like if we had this great big lens on this ball head, as soon as we undo that, we, we lose you know, forward and back, but we also lose the level of it. So this tilt head in one direction is absolutely perfect. And that's actually... Um, that's, taking the weight of this I'll just extend this out I'll weigh this in a minute and just see what this lens setup weighs but I mean this tripod the W2204 is pretty solid and these legs are solid so even you know a big lens like that that's taking that weight no problems at all pushing down on that the locks aren't letting go and that head is actually pretty nice too Although in saying that, if I did own this lens, I would go for the, the larger um, tilt head. I'd go for the L20S because it is bigger and bulkier um, and it, it'll take 25 kilos compared to 15 for this one. Um, and as I said, the other the big one does have the, the, the pan set up on it, which you may, you may find useful, you may not. It just depends on how you like to shoot. Anyway, there you go. Uh, let me just weigh this and we'll see how much that weighs. This is probably an easier way of getting this on and off too with a big lens instead of um, trying to hold the thing. Now I'm just going to weigh this. I'm really uh, interested to see how heavy it is. Four point seven kilos, so that's pretty heavy. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's one hell of a lens. Okay, well there you go. Um, so that is the <clears throat> monopod off the W two two o four, and of course to put it on back, it's to put it back on the uh, on the legs itself. It's pretty quick and easy. It's just unscrewing that, take that off, back on here and you are good to go so as you can see it really takes less than a minute to um to swap that over there you go hope you enjoyed that uh, i'll leave a link below if you wanted to purchase one of these um, i am a surui agent here in australia so i'll link leave a link for if you want to buy one of those um, here in australia and if you've got any questions just drop a comment and i'll get straight back to you Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.